My name is Tom Schmelk. I'm one of the forest entomologists for the Maine Forest Service, and today we're out here looking at brown tail moth. So one thing homeowners can do in their own yard or woodlot is to survey for brown tail moth winter webs. So you want to do this on a nice bright sunny day and stand with the sun to your back and look up at the tops of the trees. The new webs will be right at the tips of the branches. The webs will shine in the sunlight because of the nice bright white silk that comprises most of the web. Knowing which trees to target for treatment, whether that be clipping, injections, or spraying, will make management more effective. So if you do choose to prune out the winter webs, you'll need a few tools, including hand pruners, gloves, a bucket of soapy water, and if the webs are a little higher up, a pole pruner. So what you want to do is snip off the very tip of the branch, the part that contains the web. Taking more off it might harm the tree and is probably unnecessary. After you clip the web, you'll want to destroy it. The caterpillars are very good at finding food, and if you leave them on the ground, the caterpillars will just climb back up the tree in the spring, and it'll be like you hadn't done anything at all. To destroy the webs, you can soak them in a bucket of soapy water for a few days, or burn them, which can be a fun family or community activity. Thanks for surveying with us. Now go out and get them.